I hope you're happy. I'm pretty happy. Well, good. That's all that matters. Hey, everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. At least I think I'm Laura. Where did you get that shirt? I decided you get so many compliments on Mary Beth. I love your shirt. Is that my shirt? It's such a cool shirt. I decided I wanted to wear a cool shirt. <laughs> That's totally my shirt. <laughs> it I, might be. I hope you're happy. I'm pretty happy. Well, good. That's all that matters. So, if you remember in last week's video, we told you guys that we had traded Joy two large vases for a box of like yard sale stuff. Yeah. So, Joy had gone to this yard sale and picked some stuff up, and Laura was going to pay her for it, but instead we traded her the two large vases. And she's thrilled. Good. That's all that matters, right? I know, right? And we're thrilled. Okay, so we're going to show you the haul. I've got it all set up over on my piano, and I think that you guys are going to be excited. I know. Can Do you think that we should show them the afghans before we go over to the piano? Oh, good idea. We've got three afghans. Yeah, let's do it. Afghan number one. This one is kind of small. It's kind of a little lap blanket. I still, I love all the colors of these three Afghans that Look we got at that. this time. Look at them. I love this. That was so pretty. It's kind of, like they're not fall, they're kind of citrusy. You yeah. know, they're kind of, I don't know, they could be fall colors or summer. I think so. Here's the next one. This one looks very uh, like candy corn almost. <laughs> I Isn't think that it's like fabulous? California or something. It's so bright and sunny and cheerful. I love that. This one's a big one. Yeah, and it's the zigzag that's so popular with everybody. Exactly. We're going to be getting these up on eBay, I'm sure, pretty mm -hmm. quickly. This I am pretty quick to put on eBay. This <laughs> one? This one's the good one. Yeah, that's this is the kicker. Look! Ugh. Love this one. Look at those colors. Is that not fabulous? I think this one is the best. I agree. This is my favorite. It's this, almost Charlie Brownish. <laughs> you know, this, like his shirt. This it's is cute. this is one of my favorite ones that that you guys have found in a long time. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so now that you've seen mm -hmm. three of the really cool items, let's take you over to the piano and show you the rest. You're gonna love it. Okay, so here is an overview of our little yard sale trade out piano hall. And let's get in there and show you each individual piece. Okay, Mary Beth, so let's start with these cute little uh, 70s wall hangings. They sort of are meant to look like the trivets, mm -hmm. you know, that people used to collect and put in their kitchen. I think it kind of goes with that. But then somebody will love these. Look at the little kittens. Oh. Very 70s. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, and so, you know, they'll, they're not super valuable, but someone will love those in a live sale. Yeah. You know, 10 bucks or so for the set of those. Super cool. Cute. And these, like, are... Is that reticulated? It is not reticulated, oh, really. Oh, no. <laughs> I but, thought I was going to be real smart. Well, reticulated really means that it's cut out, and these are just applied to uh, look cut out like that. Okay. But they there's a pair of them, which I think is sweet, and they're hand painted, and they have a really nice little mark made in Japan. Okay. And um, little pedestal trays, they're really cute. I, I'm not used to seeing that size, so wouldn't it be cute to like have a dessert? That'd be fancy. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Good job. But there's two of those that match, so those are cute. Look at him! Oh, no, he's made in Japan. I won't pick him up, but he's marked on the bottom, made in Japan. Isn't he adorable? Look at his little face! Nothing like a little white kitty cat. That ball that he's playing with is almost like felted. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. Dixie would like to have that ball. Yeah, I bet she would. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? So these are, I love these. These are just like, they look like some handmade studio pottery. Okay. Mary Beth, what kind of flower is that? It's a dogwood. Yay, you got that one right. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, great. And I'm not familiar with that mark, but I'm sure there's tons of different marks. If anybody out there knows. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you recognize that mark. Yeah. It looks like JB 
T? T maybe? I'm not sure what that last letter is. Maybe, and then they're all marked that way. So, um, you got yeah. four of them? Four of them, mm-hmm. Let's, let's look at this Are one. Are they all the right same? There. Yes, they're all the same. Okay, cool. And they're hand done, so even if they're studio pottery, they're super cute. Okay. And I would expect to get 10 or $12 for those. Okay, great. So Laura, look at this. What is this? I think that tray is lovely. You want to pick it up? <laughs> yeah. It is, uh, doesn't it look like treasure craft, everybody? It is not marked treasure craft. And as you have heard George the Antique Nomad say several times, he's written the book on <laughs> treasure craft. Right. So maybe he can enlighten us to what it really is. But on the back, it is marked. It was 1944. Oh, wow. And Yulin product, products or something like that. It's a little bit hard to make out. That's gorgeous. But yeah, you can see the relief on the back as well, which I think is cool. Awesome. But yeah, just a really pretty uh, 60s, 70s piece. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Just a little shout out. If you're <laughs> not subscribed to our channel already, we would love it if you clicked on that subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications. Like us on Instagram and follow us on Facebook. Laura, what is she doing? Look at her. Who is she fighting? <laughs> right? She is probably she was probably kind of risque in her time. I think, think so. I mean, I know she has her little shorts on, but still. Yeah. She looks she kind doesn't, of she doesn't have a top on. <laughs> I think she's supposed to have a top. I don't think she has a top on. <laughs> But she is, there's no damage on her, and she is made in Japan. Okay. And that's really all I know about her. You know, she looks uh, kind of Art Deco to me. Yeah, a little bit. That's cool. Uh-huh. What's up with this purse? I think that you should keep that for yourself. You, you do? <laughs> I think this is just your style. <laughs> we'll go with all those Metallica and uh, Alice in Chain shirts. That you yeah, have. apparently <laughs> you're stealing all that from Don't me. Show me. <laughs> okay, so I love this little purse. It is so pretty. And it has a, a tag, La Regal Limited. Okay. But... Very mid-century looking. I don't know exactly much about it, but someone will love that. Look at the beadwork on that. I mean, for real. Come on, it doesn't get any prettier than that. I would carry that if I had a fancy place to go. Would you? <laughs> I would. Maybe you should just carry that wherever you go. <laughs> My signature piece. Exactly. Oh, what's she doing? She looks like she's uh late to get home like yes the clock struck mid midnight on her and she's kind of worried about it i started to say it looks like she could carry this purse <laughs> yeah speaking of a fancy place to go what is she is she a planter she's a planter oh isn't that cute yeah and all of her little fingers and toes are there and she her toes <laughs> well that's what people say she doesn't have any toes <laughs> i know but that's what people say mary beth it's a saying <laughs> she is oh, anesco yeah anesco and i just dropped a tag on your foot sorry about that that's okay she i need to clean her i'm sorry i know you've got the good uh macro camera out <laughs> and it probably shows that she's dirty oh well it'll be okay but someone would love her yeah i like that what are these? Oysters? <laughs> well, they're just slices of agate. Aren't they pretty? Oh, no, that's cool. And I don't know, um, you know, in the 70s, part of that boho trend with the macrame and all that was the agate and the, you know, the wood coffee tables that look like slices of wood or oh, yeah. you know, natural materials. So I guess maybe somebody might have used these for coasters. Hmm. Um, but I just thought they were really cool and interesting. Yeah, those are neat. Yeah. What are those? Are those <laughs> wristbands? I thought you would think that these are hilarious. What are they? Well, they're they're so 60s, right? They're, they're little, knitted coasters? They're coasters. I wonder if I can take they one They prevent furniture rings. <laughs> So you just put these on your glass, Mary Beth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like sweatbands for cups. Isn't that funny? That's hilarious. Wouldn't this make the perfect like hostess gift? Because back then is when you would really take a hostess gift to somewhere or um, all these little home parties that people had would make cute little gifts like for a shower or something like that. People hardly don't do that anymore. That's but, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> 
So this next piece is really cool. Uh, why don't you talk about this? Because I know you love this one. Well, I mean, I don't have a lot to tell. I don't really know a lot about it. But you, if you know me very well, you know that I really like amber glass. And I just absolutely love the shape. Hold it up a little bit. Of the top of so this. So I can get the light better. Bring it close, a little bit closer. Thanks. Look how, see how uneven it is? Like it's taller in the back, it's shorter in the front. Right. I just think that's so cool. Yeah, that is really really pretty but i'm like you I, don't, I really don't know the maker or anything about this this particular kind of glass okay you just have to kind of enjoy that for what it is i really like it i do too it's very interesting looking <laughs> actually you know it would make a beautiful bouquet because all those little indentations oh these little folds and stuff would hold the flowers really pretty oh yeah that's true mm -hmm. very nice okay then we've got another piece of really pretty glass here oh so do you think that this would have been used for like a candy dish or an ashtray? I really don't. I really kind of think it's supposed to be an ashtray because back then smoking was just all the rage. Of course. You know, in the 70s and stuff, it's, everybody smoked. So um, up through the 70s, really. Yeah, that so is So that's probably gorgeous. what it was meant for, but I love that. There's the little, what you call bulla conte, the little controlled bubbles you can tell they're supposed to be in there as a pattern they're not just a random bubble what did you call those bola conte i love it when you bring out fancy words for me laura <laughs> here let me turn it over so you can kind of can you see it better that oh way? yeah that's gorgeous and it's that uh amberina kind of fade that you love those colors yeah the amber to the bittersweet or the red color yeah that's fabulous mm -hmm. you may have to keep that <laughs> maybe so your color scheme Okay, so what's up with this little piece? That's just, that is a little candy or nut dish. It's called a nappy when it has a little handle like that. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know where the name nappy came from, but that's what you call them. Okay. And um, look, that's sweet. Look at the little butterfly there. Oh. So it's really well done. And it has a nice uh, sticker still intact, the original sticker. Okay. Adult Japan. Okay. So that's cool. I haven't looked it up yet, but you know, I bet that's in the $20 range right there. Cool. Okay. What about this little vase? Oh, look, that might have to be for me. Oh, it's got tulips on it. Yeah. That's my favorite tulips. <laughs> and it is marked nicely Trico uh, Japan. Hand, okay. Hand painted. Alrighty. So I just thought that was cute. Yeah. Okay, what's in this box? Is this a pair of shoes? <laughs> I wish my feet were that little. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a pair of magnolia oh. candlesticks. And they, they even put the little candles in there. Nice. And it's not super old, but it's vintage probably and still in its original box. I love when stuff is in its original packaging, I Laura. I know, I know. And so I think those are really sweet. I'm going to pull those all out. Okay, guys, so we've saved the best for last, and that is right here on the center of the piano. Okay, Laura, what do we have here? Well, I think I've managed to impress you. You have. With something. Yes. And I did actually know what it is. It is Dragonware. Dragonware. And if you, if you guys have heard of Dragonware before, it's called that because there is a dragon. And it's the Moriyagi raised... Uh, you want to you want to spin that for me? Yeah, that's the head of the dragon. So mm -hmm. there y'all is. Isn't that pretty? Yes. So it's a sake set. Okay. So this is of course the main vessel. Right. For the sake, but it doesn't take a lot of sake. <laughs> so it has the little tiny cups. Right. Now Mary Beth. Yes. This is what impressed you. Whenever you have true dragonware. The cups have lithopanes in the bottom, and it is so cool when you look at them. What's a lithopane? So a lithopane is when you hold up the cup and you look at the bottom, there's a silhouetted picture. In the bottom? In the bottom. Right there? Right there. I don't see anything. I know. So they're backlit. We'll have to get a flashlight. And you can insert the picture there of it. But it wow. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, look, Laura. It's a geisha. How do they do that? I mean, you can feel down in there. You that's, can feel how they build it up on the inside. Right? You can kind of feel it. 
So then the shadows and everything from the light just make it in silhouette. But oh. It's an art form. I don't know how they managed to do that. That is fabulous. Look at the detail on her. Oh, love it. Laura, this is probably one of the coolest things ever that we've had. I know. I thought that I could really impress you with that. And I, I mean, I would expect that to bring in the $50 to $100 range. That's fabulous. Isn't, it, isn't that cool? Very nice. Yay. So as always, guys, if you see anything that you like in any of our haul videos, you know, send us an email. A lot of the stuff we try to put on eBay in a timely fashion, but... You know, let's be real. <laughs> we don't always do that in a timely no. fashion. So if you see anything that you like, you can just send us an email to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We can shoot you a price and we can, you know, let you know if it's still available. You can even comment if you want to. I love to read the comments and I'm always answering the comments. So yeah, do it that way either way. So yeah, be sure to talk to each other in the comments. Leave us a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay tuned to see what Fat Bird Finds next. See you next time. Bye everybody. Oh,